Well, that wasn't too bad. Didn't lose any fingers. Didn't lose any eyes. Uh, the next step is to try to pop these off, and then I'll show you what's inside. Uh, now, I mentioned that these um, the wax capacitors go bad because of the wax of paper deteriorate. Well, these guys are electrolytic capacitors, and there's act the electrolytes actually uh, are sort of a fluid. These are uh, sort of akin to a battery with aluminum foil, a membrane, and that membrane is soaked with a, uh, a variety of chemical juices to increase the capacity given the, the, the area. Well, the culprit with these guys is they dry out, especially the early ones, like this one from a Filco radio. This weighs almost nothing. And it sounds like a maraca. That's because there's nothing left in here except some spongy aluminum and air. Uh, so that's why you got to replace these guys. Something else I should mention, I said that uh, you could use any capacitors and they'll exceed the value and all that. Well, just make sure when you replace these that you meet or exceed the original specs. Like this was a dual 40 microfarad, 450 volt cap. So I have 400 or 47 microfarad, 450 volt cap. It's nice to actually go a little bit higher in the voltage if you can, um, just to give yourself some extra headroom, but in this case, that was the best I could find. So, let's see what's inside these. Oh, I should also mention, you can't actually buy new CAN capacitors, but they're few and far between and tend to be very expensive, like 40, 50 bucks for one of these cans, versus about three bucks for a couple of new capacitors like this to stick inside, so that's why I do this. <laughs> So let's see, if I can get this out. Yep, that was easy. So there's a disgusting jelly roll that's inside these guys. <laughs> this one, uh, well, of course this set was working, so I was kind of suspecting that this is still a little mo this is still moist. Um, well, let's see about the other guy. Well, it's coming too. Now if they do stick, because sometimes in this, well actually in this one, they're definitely there's some tar inside, use a heat gun or even a hair dryer or maybe a little bit of time in the stove just to soften up that tar a little bit and uh, these will slide right out. Now the next step is to carefully, I'll use, put some paper towels down, is to start unraveling this. In this case it's two sections so there'll be one common lead for ground and two for each of the capacitor sections. Those are aluminum uh, strips that come up from the bottom to where the solder connection is. Um, I want to pull all that stuff off and get this down to just where it's the base with three metal studs sticking up. Hang on, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I've got the capacitors unrolled. Here's what I was left with. Uh, basically, it was a roll of some type of uh, paper material. It's uh, damp with that electrolyte and a crystalline metallic layer. Uh, that's probably to increase the surface area. In other caps, I've just seen it more like uh, traditional aluminum foil. So here's what I'm left with. This was a two-section cap, so I've got two prongs plus the can is ground, and this guy I've got three prongs. Now, the shitty thing is that these are aluminum, and in case you haven't tried it, soldering to aluminum doesn't work very well. So I can't just take this capacitor and tack one lead onto the stud and one to the, uh, the base here. So what I'll, uh, I'll do is cut these down close to the base and actually drill a small hole right next to it on this stud, on that stud, and then one near the edge of the can. I'll run the leads through and on the underside these studs are very easy to solder to. So the leads will come out right next to either of these and I'll wrap it around the base and solder it in place and nobody will ever notice. And the ground lead I'll have come out one of these existing holes here and just run right over to this uh, tab here and solder it on. So, uh, another pause and I'll show you the final results. Okay, I've got my holes drilled. Here's one I haven't uh, recapped yet. You can see the three holes for the three capacitor leads and the one hole for the common lead. And here's one where I already put the, the uh, two new capacitors in place. Soldered the common ground together and fed it through here and the other two leads going where the uh, other leads fed through. And down below, you hardly know that anything actually happened. 
on each of the, this red and blue wire here there's a the new capacitor lead I fed through from below and wrapped around and soldered it on and here's the ground lead where I used a bit of a copper braid to ground to the chassis and I'll do the same thing for the other capacitor over here in a little bit which only leaves me to replace this bias resistor for the 6V6 audio output tube and hopefully that will arrive tomorrow and then remount the power transformer and the uh, transformer is the three that you see here I've removed the three from this chassis because they were quite rusty and I'm working on removing the rust right now now you could just leave it like this but if you're going to leave it that ugly you might as well just solder them below to begin with so what I did is I already uh, polished up the uh, old aluminum cans and put it back down and I'll try to match it up to ro rotate it around following the little uneven cuts I made with the Dremel tool to get it back in the right position and then you got a few options um, you could use something like JB Weld to glue it back down or maybe some two-part epoxy or a hot melt glue I'm not going to glue it on at all until I've got the whole thing working again because the last thing I want to do is have to you know cut this back open again and even when I do glue it I tend to use a pretty uh, mild glue or just a couple small dabs and as far as the gap goes um, you can fill that in so I guess that's the right position you see there's not much of a gap really once you get it down to the right position you can put a little like putty in there and uh, if it stands out at all use a little bit of silver paint and a paintbrush you know some uh, like model enamel silver paint and casual observers never going to notice the difference so we get that one get that one back on and recap it put the tubes back in put the transformers back in and put it back in the set and then uh, hey hopefully it'll work and uh, <laughs> when I get this all back together I'll record a video and show you the final results it's all for tonight